morning and welcome everybody. This is C. Bernal, Chris Bernal, uh, talking to you live. Um, I tried to go live yesterday. They got it turned on, but it's so, it messes with my computer so bad that I don't think I could do a live show. So what I'm doing is I'm like this morning, I'm just sitting here and I'm going to turn this on right in front of you. We're going to watch this. No filters, nothing. We're just going to watch this. Do you see that? One, two, three. Now, that's all I can say at that point. <laughs> so, you know, I there's so many lenses out there that are reflecting light back. You know, you say, well, are these just some of the lenses they have from the starshade? And are they just working it? Are these illusions? And some people think because I go and look for it and I start talking about it, that's why I don't talk a lot. They think I make it manifest. Well, there is power in your speech. I believe in that. But I didn't make these manifest. I get an intuition or a thought real strong. Go to Alaska. Go to the Polar Bears International Explorer.org. You can go too. I don't just go everywhere. I just get an inclination from the Lord Jesus, I believe. And I see that. Now, what I was following, when I first got here, I seen the auroras. But then I seen that. You know, how can I not show that to my friends? And I use a laptop. So what I do is I push the, uh, with a, there's no, you look at that straight on, it's hard to see the three objects. But if you take your laptop or your phone and you tilt it back about 30%, look at 30% slow. Oh no, maybe steeper than that. And you go back, as you go back, you'll get a little, I call it fake contrast. Exposure goes down a little bit because of the angle, unless you have a really good Mac laptop, might not do it. But you can see the one orb in the right is like kind of bluish. One on bottom has some sun shining on it, but not a lot. Look to the left corner. This is live, guys. I'm just, you know, I stopped the video. And I started it up. I'm not going double speed or anything. Let me show you. So this is live as it gets. Um, I got the quality at 1080p. Speed is normal. Now I'm going to speed it up, which will make it interesting. Okay. And I bring that down. Okay. Now I'm playing live. I can speed it up because I paused it. Now I, and I did that on purpose for the show, so I could play this out fast now what I'll do in the video when I make it is right about here I have to do the adjustment what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll show you what I see with my laptop and then I'll go into the deep and you know maybe we'll get some daytime aurors um, look how dark it is on the left and on the right now if you look at straight on at it without no filters you can see the purplish green kind of view that's all what's in the skies. It's not me doing anything. Um, but these objects um, could be sent, you know, they could be watchers. They could be crafts that are just sitting there watching, you know, the northern skies. Um, they could be keeping that big blue planet on the right from hitting. I don't know. You know, I'm like you. I want to see what's going on. That's, that's kind of like that's how my show is now you know this is what you see this is what you get you know, I always say life is like a box of chocolates you know like Forrest Gump sometimes you get a nut sometimes you won't sometimes you get an almond joy but look at those crafts and I'm gonna do some snapshots and some good filtering on them so you can see I can see with my just my eyes that there are some writing or indentation um, I don't know if the one on top left is spinning. It kind of has a... But they're all like kind of octagons or, or... One, two, three, four... Six-sided one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven-sided? I don't know. But, you know, if one just takes off and bounces across the sky, if all three of them start doing that, that's going to be one of the best UFO captures ever. Right now, it's just unidentified flying objects or unidentified stationary objects. They're not lens flares, guys. 
Not these. I don't think so. Now you got an object right there coming out. X marks the spot. Now, could that be, you know, you ever see these ships that are like triangle with the three lights? And could the ship just be cloaked behind the blue, whatever, purplish, green color? Um, could be, right? And those are the three lights, and that's how big that ship is. It's humongous. And I don't, you know, unless it's really close and they know how to cloak. Got me. But, okay, I mean, People ask me, why don't you show your face? I'm too old. I don't care. Um, it's not about my face. Not about my character. It's, it's really, you know, about me getting these. This is pretty unreal looking. Look at this little thing right there. X marks the spot. Still on target. Now see how the sun is starting to cross that. That tells me it's not a lens flare because the lens flare they would just keep pushing out. Now, right about here, you can see if one really is a lens flare. But look to the left, up here in the corner, up here by the eye. Look up there. You see that thing. So this thing is passing objects like the one that's right now on the left with the three are three circles orbs. Excuse me, guys. My, my wife's dealing with a hay cold, like hay fever. Um, it's that time of year where the wind's blowing. Once the sun breaks out about 11 o'clock, it's called glo June gloom. Uh, you know, people start getting hay fever. And we have farms all the way around us. So we get this rough, you know, got a navage, navage, navage at all, you know. Got to get one of those. But uh, ain't this pretty cute? weird looking? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Not a camera problem. The item up here. Right up there. It's like the other objects, like a lens. Like the bottom one on the three is the best, clearest one. Um, and there's not much, if I filter this, there's not much I can do but dehaze it. Now what are those objects? That's the question in the chat today. What are those objects? So I'm waiting for the one o'clock show. And why did I put it at one? I don't know. But then I caught this right now live in front of you. Live, live, live. Pre-recorded live is still live. You know, I need some minutes to uh, add some special stuff for the people. You know, if you guys don't like my intros, I'm sorry. But if you like them, I never try to repeat an intro. I just get fresh. It's like art to me, you know. And I'm going to do it. I have... Probably 5,000 intros I can mix and match and you know, it depends on my feeling like with this video I don't even know what I'm gonna do for an intro, but look at this other worlds Let's say that would fit right there three other worlds the one on the left disappeared So that could have been a lens Maybe not But this one going into the, the Sun you know, your two fingers up Sun right if it's the sun. The bottom one's got some stripey stuff going on. What you really want to do is pay attention if it's turning. And I'm watching it right now. Really close. I'm not trying to mess with anything. But this one down here. Even the one up here. You see the black spot. You see the dark ridge on the bottom one here. Watch for those to turn. Okay. X marks the spot. Watch for that one. And if I do snapshots, I might be able to get some really good... Uh, introverted pictures and stuff now remember we're going twice the speed two times so you could see something turn you can't turn it up any higher than that now I might turn it up on mine increase the speed so if you see it turn but I think the bottom one is turning to the right because the ridge is moving over to the center right just watch first time I've ever seen it it looks like it's turning to the right. It's rotating to the right. Now, the way these things are shaped, I have to believe they got to be some kind of uh, drones or who knows? Who knows what Russia and China has built? Who knows? 
You know, I'm not scared of it. Don't be afraid of it, people. It's the signs in the sky, signs in the sun, signs in the moon. I'm showing it all to you. My whole channel is about the signs and everything. Um, now, I do occasionally catch a big old red planet right over the sun, and I got a couple pictures you haven't seen I like to go in there in this video. Well, I probably will. And they're pretty intense. Uh, if you haven't watched some of my videos, you haven't seen any of them. The last two or three videos. And that is just the bottom one's turning dark now. The right one's turning reddish to with the light. Like I said, I use a laptop that throws your back. Got a little red hue to it and then you got this purple hue coming down around the real dark blue ball on the right and dark blue ball on the left coming down from the corner and it's about normal it's um it's about 10 o'clock in the morning so why ain't the sun just covering the whole sky like it normally does uh, like california people say well, you know, you know, it only happens on cameras. I guarantee you if you got a good camera and a good filter like my friend uh, Phil has, you would be able to filter out that sun and see what these three objects are. Now, Phil, if you're watching me, go to this over here and see if you can figure out what's going on. Because Phil catches the ring. Phil catches the lenses. He catches the asteroids they're trying to hide. Um... But with my naked eye, I could see three objects. What could I say? I'm just, you know, speculating. I'm not telling you this is, this is the way it is. I'm going to tell you, I don't know what it is, but I've seen a lot of it for five years. And I wasn't here. I didn't know nothing about Planet X or UFOs or any of this five years ago. I didn't care about it. Um until I got woken up with my fourth vision in 35 years of Nibiru Planet X, but I didn't know that. Wormwood, we call it in the Bible. I didn't know that. So I started looking for it. So this is, um, I'm injecting this right here. This is a five hour time lapse, and you know I'm doing it real quick. All of a sudden, they just broke into that. Um, so I speeded it up, and that's the auroras, but I have another aurora video coming out with this. Uh, you know, I didn't know it because I left it for, I think, five hours or something. Anyways, so thank God time lapse helps us get to a video that I put out that's too long. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it play out what I was ranting, all right? And finish the video. God bless people. I'll talk to you soon. Here or on the other side. I think it took me three days to find my first planet, or orb, or now I might be a UFO. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff we don't know about, and we probably don't really want to know about it, to be honest with you, because it just makes you scared. But there is some strange technologies and machines up there that will blow your mind. One of my videos I showed you what looked like a movie screen. Never think about that. And all they got to do is project that thing on the, the milky white blue sky. The TV screen. Just like this. And if other people want to see this, let, let us make them a little show. And there still is a sign in the heavens, no matter how you look at it. Um, and the Bible says we would see signs in the heavens. Uh, for me, it says... I'm coming, Chris. Get your act together. Get your house in order. Look at that planet down there. Uh, whatever it is, just turning slowly. So they added that little pre recorded um, Aurora from another date. That wasn't the one I caught from later on that night. But then it just pops back in. This is exactly how it does. You can see the two planets right there. Let me filter that, and then this that's the end of the show, okay? But uh, you see down on the bottom there? Now watch, I'm going to put some filter on it. Now, I'll just let it rant out to the end, I guess. Sometimes this is the first time I see this stuff. So you got it? You've been watching CCTV.
Night Watchmen. God bless you people again. Changing colors. Getting darker and lighter. The one on top is definitely something. This little white thing is more like a lens flare or a ship maybe. It could be a satellite projecting. Um, these moons are trying to hide. Now remember with Wormwood or with the dragon or however you want to call it, Planet X, the red one I would call, you know, um, is Istam. But remember the Bible says it's like a giant mountain burning. So a giant mountain burning would be like an asteroid. Now, Phyllis shows some stuff that looks like if it went on fire, it'd be like a giant, giant asteroid burning like a part of a mountain. Now, I don't know if you can see this until I filter it, probably not. But on top there, and you're going to see it because I am going to filter it for you. The sun is starting to shine onto something surface. And that's what it looks like. You'll see. I'm going to filter it down in real time. Wow. Pretty weird. Otherwise, it's just a really blinding sky. Let's just say everybody's like this.